This is why I said that TikTok is completely evil. First of all, completely mindless. There is nothing of value. I remember when I used to have TikTok, I would be scrolling and all I would see were these fucking TikToks with like GTA gameplay at the bottom and then Family Guy or The Simpsons or what's the name of the other TV show? I don't even remember. Um, South Park. It would be those three shows. Family Guy, especially for a while. Then it went completely to South Park. And then all the fucking, what's the name of the other show? Young Seldom as well. It was all like 99% of the content that I was consuming on TikTok were just cutouts of these three TV shows. It is insane. Like I would say I'm not interested and TikTok would just simply not do anything. It was crazy. I hated it. I was very addicted to TikTok, I have to say. I would scroll through TikTok and all I would see are these fucking TikToks of the TV shows. And the TV shows themselves are really good. So that's why you keep engaging with them. But it was completely mindless. I would get this sort of like anxiety feeling after spending time on TikTok. That is crazy. Something that I would use to relax would give me extreme anxiety and I would spend hours on it. It's kind of like a drug. Like nobody who does cocaine or crack or heroin feels well after doing it, but they keep coming back. It's quite literally the definition of a drug. It is insane. The second reason why TikTok is completely evil, it's because of the extreme amount of soft porn that you get on the website. It is insane. Like TikTok, by the time I deleted it about a year ago, was completely filled out with clips from a random TV show that would get popular and then just naked ladies everywhere. It, it, it's insane. That's all the content I would see. It's crazy. And then some memes, you would get like actual value somewhere. But it's crazy. Like, I don't know who designs the TikTok algorithm, but they completely fucked it up. I remember back in the day, back in 2019, when I downloaded TikTok for the first time, I remember how it would actually be funny to go into TikTok and see some people doing some stupid shit, some stupid challenge, some stupid like TikTok dance. But now it's all like, these faceless channels, this like they cut out clips from podcasts, this just like OnlyFans girls, it is insane. And then another reason that is very important, but we don't even discuss anymore, is the privacy. So there is a lot of, it's a very viral story, there's a lot of things going on right now with TikTok. The US government wants to ban them, which like I agree, because like I don't think it does any good to the youth. I don't think it does any good to the adults. Might as well just have Instagram and YouTube. At least they're American. But whatever, I digress. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the data security and the data privacy. So your personal data, not only the data that TikTok collects within the app. I'm talking about like the data that TikTok collects throughout your entire phone, your gallery, your videos the messages you sent out, your emails, any like game that you might have on your phone, all of that gets sent out to the ByteDance, which is the company who owns TikTok servers, and then they do whatever they do with it. Whatever they do with it, we don't know it. But they collect information on absolutely everything, text messages, calls, all of the things that I named before. It is insane. Like your phone quite literally becomes an spying device. Then another reason why I uninstall TikTok from my phone and I stop using it completely is the TikTok store. I, I don't know how it could be more annoying. I don't know who thought that it would be a good idea to replace the, the following tab and put in the middle the TikTok shop. I mean, I understand why they do it. They do it because it generates money and they're a company and they want to make money, which fair enough, that's what they should be doing. But the integration is so annoying 
Do you guys remember back in the day when Instagram decided to do the same and then they had to pull back? They replaced the search button for the sub button. It, it was crazy. I hated it. Dial back on that. TikTok, TikTok is not doing that because the TikTok shop is incredibly, it's incredibly popular because the TikTok shop is incredibly popular. So they're not going to do that because it's clearly working. But for me, it's such an annoying incorporation within the app. It's all right when you're scrolling and you just see it at the bottom of the video. But when you, in order to get to the following tab, you need to go through the shop. It's so annoying. It's so forcefully put there. I don't like it. And the last reason would actually be that you don't need it. You truly just don't need it. You can uninstall it and you'll be fine. Truly don't need it. We have a lot of social media, especially if you're an older person, right? Like 18 and above. You probably work. You're already spending eight hours a day on your screen working. Why do you need more screen time? You don't. You don't need it. Just go outside and touch some grass and go work out. Go play with your dogs. Go play with your children. Go do something that is useful. You truly do not need TikTok. And that's a good enough reason. You just don't need it. You already spend too much time on your phone and on your computer working.